Hello, this is Terry Johnson from the Center for Healing, and I have already brought you a video on boundaries. And boundaries is something that, again, women and men really struggle with, but more so women. And, uh, you know, once, now that you've had a chance to watch the video about boundaries, it's really, really important that we also talk about consequences. Because so often I actually get um, calls and emails from women saying, you know, my boundaries just not working. They're not working for me at all. And when I press them, it's because there's a couple problems going on. They're not consistently in, in, enforcing their boundaries. Um, they aren't putting any consequences at all involved um, surrounding their boundaries. And so just like as us moms, we have to put boundaries in place to create safe limits for our kids. However, if they go beyond those limits, if we don't create consequences for them, they're going to they're gonna start realizing there there isn't any there's no outcome, there's no bad outcome for my poor behavior. And so we need that in our lives as women and for those men out there. We need to let people know I must be treated in a way um, that's respectful, that whatever it may be, whatever your boundaries around, it not only needs to be the boundary, but it also needs to be enforced with those consequences. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and what gets in the way of people putting consequences in place and, and what you can do about it. So the first thing I often find is that women, you know, and again, some men um, do say, you know what, I think boundaries are, are kind of hard already, but consequences are extremely mean. I feel like a mean person. And I hear that. I understand that. But by putting boundaries and consequences in place, it shows that you valuable value yourself enough to put those boundaries and consequences in place. And that is critical so you can feel good about yourself and what you're doing. So they might feel mean, but really they are protecting your value as a person. Also, sometimes people can't find the appropriate consequences for a boundary. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. And I struggle with women that don't feel valuable enough. They don't feel that sense of value that says, I can't be treated this way anymore. They just feel, you know what, it's okay to be just ran over. This is just what I'm used to and this is the way it's going to continue. And I would encourage you that no, it's not. It's not okay. You are valuable enough and you do need to put those boundaries in place and have consequences that sting. And so I think that's what is important around consequences. Consequences must, first of all, must have a bite to them, right? We don't want, we, we don't want, um, someone to think that they can just violate our boundaries all the time and that there's nothing that's going to happen. No, they have to actually hurt a bit because when they hurt, people don't want to do it. They don't, they want, don't want to continue bumping into this. And this is what I find when I work with couples is that when women are, are strong enough and feel convicted enough to put a, a boundary in place, the behavior that's been going on forever and ever stops happening because there's finally the, the spouse is feeling the pain of the consequences and doesn't want to continue doing that. You wouldn't go up to electric fence and put your hand on it and go, ah, oh, that hurt. Let me do it again. Right. We want to avoid it and we avoid it um, by 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 making it painful enough to where people don't want to have to cross it. So that's why consequences are so important and they have to hurt. Um, second is they have to be appropriate to the boundary. So um, if you have, you know, depends on the level of severity of your boundary. So if your boundary is, you know what, I just can't tolerate you talking to me disrespectfully. If the person starts that you put the bound, that you have a boundary around that you must be spoken to respectfully, if someone violates that, the consequence would be, you know, I'm, I can't engage with, with you at this time until we can both be calm and respectful with one another. So then you would disengage. However, if someone in your life is throwing things or is coming at you physically, that consequence would look very different. You wouldn't say to them, oh, I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to disengage and go to the other room. No, you would get the heck out of the house, right? You need to create safety. So if someone is being physically uh, aggressive, then the consequence is 
either you need to leave or I need to leave to create safety for myself. So, so consequences must be appropriate to the level of severity that the boundary is, okay? And then also, it must be progressive. You know, one of the challenges I found in my relationships with those that are disrespectful is, you know, I, for the longest time I was saying to them, you know what, I can't tolerate you talking to me disrespectfully, so I'm going to have to disengage. And then that would happen five more times in that day. And I would say, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to disengage. I'm going to have to disengage. And unfortunately, it, it, it didn't have any bite to it, right? There was nothing it, that person knew that if they continued to be disrespectful, I would just disengage, come back, and we'd be fine again. So I, it's really important that they be progressive, that the first time might be, you know, I'm gonna need to disengage um, because I can't be with you when you're being disrespectful. And if it happens again a half an hour later, then it needs to be, I'm sorry, I can't be in this conversation anymore. I need to leave for a few hours to go take care of myself. And then also, um, if, if it becomes a much more severe, like half an hour after you come back and you guys try to come back together and the, the violator apologizes and accepts responsibility, and then half an hour later, they violate again. Then it looks like, you know what, I'm gonna have to leave overnight. I'm gonna have to leave overnight until we both can cool down, or you need to leave overnight. The other person needs to leave overnight. So that's why it's important that consequences really, really are progressive. So they do, they, um, they, they, they know that you're serious about it, right? They know that this is not, we're not playing anymore. This will continue to hurt and it's gonna get more progressively hurtful as time goes on. And then finally, we have to consistently enforce the consequences, right? Just like, again, with the back to our kids again, we, if, if we discipline our children once and then don't, don't follow through on the consequences, they're going to realize mom's really not going to do anything about, um, about me behaving badly, just the way it's going to be. So because of that, that consistent consequence, that consistent reinforcement that this is not going to be tolerated anymore and that you consistently will feel the consequences if you continue to violate my boundary. And if that person in your life that's violating your boundaries knows that every single time they're, that, um, they violate a boundary, there is going to be a consequence, they will stop doing it. I promise I see it all the time. So I just really encourage you to take what I said about consequences and that they, they must have a bite. And they must be appropriate to the boundary in terms of level of severity. They must be progressive and they also must be consistent. Now, if you are struggling, really enforcing um, the consequences on your boundaries or don't even know where to start in creating consequences, you know what, we're here to help you. We, we work, do work through the Center for Healing. We do work through um, Skype. We also do work through the phone. Or if you really wanna to come to the Pacific Northwest and stay on the Puget Sound, you, we can sure arrange an intensive to spend two days um, with you at our retreat center. So if that is something you need help with, please give us a call. We would love to help you. And you can reach me directly at my email at terry, T-E-R-I, at thecenterforhealing.org. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.